Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my Saturday morning Facebook and Instagram live session, usually right around 8 or a little bit before 8. We're calling it the car side chats now because I've been doing it in my car lately before I go into the office. And yes, we are open from 9 to 12 today. Uh, So for my first 44 years of my life, one of the few absolute constants was my grandma Cassie, Grandma Cassie. One of the true loves of my life. Uh, when I, Growing up, uh, we lived in a two-family house in East Rutherford. We lived downstairs. I would have two breakfasts every day. Uh, usually consisted of Wonder Bread with copious amounts of butter and coffee. Yes, my love for coffee started with my uh, grandparents. Uh, and at times it could have been hard maybe for my parents, but me, my brother, and my sister, we absolutely loved living upstairs from my grandparents. Uh, Looking back at some old pictures, uh, the Catskills, the beach at the bungalow, uh, West Point, all these great memories came uh, flooding back. At age 89, after a fall that we didn't know about, uh, perforated stomach and two failed surgeries, Grandma Cassie passed. uh, And that was a really tough day for all of us. And in the morning of the, the funeral repast, that whole thing, Uh, I knew I had to say something, and in my consciousness, it just popped up the four things I learned from Grandma Cassie. Now, did I learn more from Grandma Cassie than these four things? Of course I did, Uh, but I've shared with them before with you, and I wanted to share with you again. So, first thing would be love and family. As I said, we grew up uh, in the same house as my Grandma Cassie, Um, and you could see... Uh, her legacy through her children, my uncle and my mom, uh, her grandchildren, me, my brother, my sister, and her nine great grandchildren. Very easy. She loved family. Uh, at a repast, you know, there was family, there was work family, there was neighborhood family, there was all sorts of families there um, to celebrate this great woman. But, you know, even early on, you could see my grandma and grandpa family was important because they moved uh, my my parent and my uncle out of Passaic to the suburbs a very far away, a couple miles to East Rutherford. So family was really, 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 really important. And my son Hayden particularly had an incredible relationship with her. Second was wealth. Uh, the first money talk I ever had in my entire life life was with grandma Cassie. She said, always save for a rainy day. And the funny thing back then, I think I was saving for a typewriter, if you could uh, believe that. Fast forward a couple years, she gave me a credit card uh, to teach me money responsibility and allow me to buy books and things I needed for college and chiropractic school as well. She was without a doubt my first uh, financial advisor as well. I love to listen to how she accumulated a pretty substantial uh, sum of money throughout her lifetime. And essentially, she took advantage of high bond rates and high interest rates and saved uh, consistently and persistently for many, many years and amassed quite a great fortune. Funny enough, and who can forget, her birthday, April 15th, or tax day, which I always found funny. Third was health. Uh, Grandma Cassie always was concerned about her figure. She was thin, not small. Uh, she ate, didn't eat a lot, loves her cottage cheese and fruit, shot in a beer at uh, three, went to bed early, got up early, uh, very, very rarely sick. I can remember having a little bit of a cold once in a while. She got adjusted twice a month religiously, whether it was driving into my office or me coming to the house. Uh, but interestingly enough, when she passed and we were cleaning out her stuff, and I know she told me this in the past, but she was a... A devotee for maybe 60 years of her life on the Silva mind control. She knew that your thoughts, uh, what happened between your ears, truly dictated how healthy you are. Last, number four, was faith or church. I, I joke, uh, you know, Grandma Cassie went to church every single Saturday, uh, Sunday, excuse me. Uh, and she donated a lot of money to Sacred Heart, and she probably built uh, the uh, elevator in that church. 
Um, but, you know, really great was when we asked Hayden who he wanted his confirmation sponsor to be without hesitation. He said, Grandma Cassie. So I hope you listen to these, look the, look at these. I wrote them down in the comment section if you want to go through them. Uh, as I said, I've learned a lot more from Grandma Cassie. Uh, but these are the four that popped immediately in my mind. I hope you enjoy these. Uh, we are open from 9 to 12. And as always, as my eyeball is getting burned from the sun, <laughs> be awesome and never unawesome. Bye-bye.